I begin with the sketch, making sure to use a consistent grid that aligns with the composition of the rest of our illustrations. Since our illustration system is based on the Fluent Design language, I take direct reference from the icons to maintain cohesion throughout the library. This sketching phase happens collaboratively on Figma, making the process both more efficient and enjoyable. Once I finalize the sketch, I transition to the 3D modeling phase. My favorite part, using Cinema 3D, I model the components and render them in Redshift, ensuring that all elements such as lights, shadows, and camera positions are consistent across every illustration. I import the splines from our Figma sketches and use a spline mask to create the main floor, using plane effectors to achieve the characteristic scoop effect. I then model additional 3D shapes, balancing the scoops and shapes for legibility and balance. Next, I prepare the mask for render passes, which I'll use in the post-production phase to remove the background. This is where the real fun begins. By using materials from our asset library, I can play with colors and masks, are directing the final look to ensure it meets our vision. I really love to take my time in this process and create a lot of different options and find the best look considering contrast and accessibility, always making sure the illustration looks beautiful. Making sure we can tackle all of the beautiful details like brush strokes and paint splashes we can achieve with 3D and make the illustrations a lot more tactile and human. After a few test renders, I create a dark mode version and proceed with the final render. In After Effects, I use a pre-made template to import the renders in EXR format. This template helps extract the background using the render passes generated earlier. I then add the final renders to our full library, ensuring everything aligns perfectly. And there you have it, the process of creating a beautiful full and 3D illustration from sketch to final product.